Becky just stopping by to let you know that today's video is brought to you by our sponsors, Starfleet International. Starfleet International is the world's largest and oldest Star Trek fan association, providing a place where Star Trek fans can meet up, get to know each other, have fun, and share in their love of Star Trek. I'm a member over here in Ireland in Region 20, so why not help out the channel, jump down to the description box, and head over and let them know that Irish Trekkie sent you. And maybe we can meet up for one of their fantastic events. Well, hello folks, and welcome to another Star Trek related video. This time featuring something very, very unique and very awesome. I'm delighted to finally have it in my possession. But this is the Star Trek Starships, Ships of the Collection 1.2 by Nils Walter Kahn. A name that you should all be very familiar with if you visit the Star Trek um, Facebook group and the unofficial fan group hosted by one of my good friends, Dave Kuhn, over on Facebook as well. I'll leave the links in the description for both of those and uh, you would see Nils popping up um, on my own Facebook group over there as well for Star, Star Trek and Irish Trekkie, if I can even talk. But um, he's been doing some amazing edits since the collection started. You know, we had these cool uh, wallpaper competitions and stuff like this. So he's put together his collection and it's pretty freaking thick and it's such high quality. Now, I don't know if you can still get those. Um, but listen, if you have interest, why not light up the comment section below? And who knows? Nils might poke his nose in here and see that there is wildfire interest about it. Uh, I know I love it. And I'm sure your guy, you guys are going to love it as well. And uh, maybe he'll have a few more that he can uh, you know, furnish people with as well. But I leave that between you and him. Anyway, I'm lucky enough to get this anyway. So, front cover, we have the Enterprise D. Now, these are all photos that he's taken off the collection's ships. These are not 3D models or anything like that. These are actual ships in the collection with, you know, uh, digital art backgrounds as well. So, let's just go through it. It's so well, it's, it's, so, it's such a high quality production. The paper, um, the overall presentation is fantastic. Uh, here we have another shot of the Enterprise D with a lovely stellar background here. We have the Defiant in a wormhole-esque setting with a small little D Space 9 in the background. Uh, we have an Akira jetting off from low orbit. Uh, looks to be Earth because uh, that's pretty, pretty much the mood in the background there, I believe. We have the Reliant and these gorgeous, I should be spending much more time on them, but I kind of wanted to kind of give you a hint of what's in this collection here. We have a uh, Nebula class here, the Honshu, so good. Nice partners in crime here. We have the JJ Abrams Enterprise, um, warping out potentially here uh, from a bad situation or to rescue. And then we have the ominous vengeance as well. A ship that I actually really like. And again, I think the complementary um, backgrounds there really enhance the overall images. We have the Enterprise here with a fantastic stellar background. We have an Earth-like planet in orbit of a blue gas giant with a couple of moons there as well. Some great um, trailing effects there and uh, everything's just alive and looks fantastic. We have the Valdor on a cracking Romulan homeworld. Who knows? Some volcanic activity going on down there anyway. We have the Delta Flyer and then the Runabout. Really nice. And even the attention to detail like lighting up the bazaars and the ram scoops and putting in fake cockpits and nav lights and stuff like that as well. Really, really good. We have the Stargazer and this is the cover shot of the Enterprise here as well. And then we have some Klingon and Cardassian shenanigans. Again, I love the subtle hint, you know, the green and then the orange offsetting, the, the galore class as well. Fantastic nebula in the background too. Really good job so far. Oh, Voyager and the Equinox with the Krenum ship doing their timey-wimey shenanigans in the background there. And I love the aspect ratio of these shots as well, that they're not filling up the whole page. It's, it's very cinematic. Really cool. And again, I kind of have to keep reminding myself that these are actually 
ships in the collection itself that we all have. Uh, more Klingon and um, Enterprise shenanigans here as well. Just the glow around the the nav, the deflector dish. Really nice. And then we have the Pasteur. And we have the Kumari. I like the offsets, the accents of the purple and the kind of pink and blue here as well. And again, these are images that you wouldn't really see anywhere else because some of these ships have never been produced outside of the TV show renders. We have Zindi and Romulan. Again, good representations here of uh, our fantastic ships from Enterprise. Love the background here for the Zindi insectoid ship. And we have the Prometheus in a really interesting uh, setting with some more Klingons, maybe judging off for uh, some honor filled shenanigans. And uh, this is nice. It's almost like a mirror effect here. We have the Enterprise C and the Enterprise B. And the B just looks so majestic, actually. I think that's a really nice shot. Really cool. Here we have some more J.J. Abrams. We have their version of the um, Bird of Prey, the Klingon Bird of Prey. And then we have the Solar Sailor with some more Deep Space Nine here. Like the spotlights here on the J.J. ship. We have... Uh, this species 8472 and we have the intrepid here too love this ship really cool we have the tholians in hot pursuit of the enterprise here which is really awesome and then we have the dauntless the ship in disguise yes the trap now this is really cool harks right back to the motion picture we have the enterprise refit and then we have the old school girl herself the Enterprise, Matt Jeffrey's lady. We have some Nausicaan and Romulan fun here as well. Again, I think the backgrounds really are so thoughtfully selected here. It really makes the ships pop. And just having the kind of motion and blur effects and even some of the kind of the lens flares, I think just adds, adds so much to it. Um, we have Steam Runner and the Galaxy X. Oh, yes. Really nice. I like that shot. The original Bird of Prey. And the old birth class. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it. I know I keep saying I like it, but I truly do. These are really awesome. Uh, we have the Fortunate um, here. And we have the Romulans from the Enterprise era as well. Those sneaky, devious buggers. And I like these kind of partner pictures as well. So we have the Armored Voyager with the subscriber special Borg Cube with its light-up components there too. And then we have the Botany Bay and the Enterprise here as well, which actually looks really, really nice. I think that's cool. We have the Centaur and some more Klingons. Centaur looks really nice actually, doesn't it? And then the Klingons don't look too bad either, I must say. Looking very nice today, guys. Uh, we have the Dideridix and we have the Herogen. Very similar backdrops here with a bit of a kind of motion effect. The Herogen are definitely onto something there. And then we have the lovely enhancements to the windows on this um, render over here too, which is pretty cool. And there's still more pictures. Like This is epic. Now we have some shuttlecraft fun here so we have the type 7 we have the little can even talk the defiant uh, over here too with both voyager and the defiant in the background and then we have the goddard and the galileo as well with both the enterprises in the background too so again very very unique i love the kind of the setup that's done here on these ships now we have the norway and uh, norway class budapest and we have the uh, Vulcans as well. Maybe that's Vulcan in the background. Who knows? Well, Nil knows. But um, that's another story. This looks like the Badlands, which is pretty cool. We have the Raider. And then we have the Negvar, which actually looks much better than it did in real life, unfortunately. We have some lights. We have windows. We have glowing elements there as well. Oh, the ship that let me down so much. <laughs> We have Federation Fighters and we have the Raven with the uh, armoured um, tactical cube here as well, which are pretty cool. 
and we have a wing of raiders over here which is nice and then we have uh, Romulans oh yes and I think that Kelvin shot looks really nice I'm sure at this stage you're very envious that I have a book like this ha <laughs> uh, we have Saber and we have the Breen here as well Saber looks very very nice today and um, we have the Breen, which look very ominous as well. And then we have the Bajoran fighter craft, uh, Bajoran Raider. And we have the Zindi aquatic ship as well. And a very nautical looking planet there. Looks like a very water rich. And I love this is actually in atmosphere over here as well with the very alien sky. So we have Enterprise E's Custo over here. And we have, oh, the name escapes me. I'm having such a brain fart. But our little dinosaurs from the Delta Quadrant at Trans Warp. Obviously going off to shoot down some doctrine-defying shenanigans over there. And then we have the Phoenix starting her Warp 1 run, which I think is really nice, with the Enterprise E coming in over its shoulder there as well and the lovely emblem of Earth. And most importantly, to be continued exactly this is really nice and here's a little back shot of how he takes these images you know bit of cork bit of a bland background to be able to take it out and uh, post process it and stuff like that as well so nils i think that's an excellent job fantastic very highly qu very high quality production here as well and uh, i'm so glad i have that and uh, this is my little video of uh, nils's uh, ship of the collection uh, 1.2 um, yeah really really awesome so thanks for stopping by uh, let Nils know uh, what you thought of his book in the comments below and listen I'll see you folks in the next video so take it easy and goodbye <laughs>